what came up with the African sister? I don't understand the, the tension. Kind of. Well, not not the hate ain't really on him. It's over, man. It's a mess over there, dude. My, it's a mess. You know, they got this real goofy looking Asian guy. He looks crazy. And you know, they they didn't pawn him off on somebody. It's, and, and and the thing is, they keep trying to shame us into going over there and bringing money and telling us to to this trying to sell the Wakanda package to us. And it's just a mess with the stuff going on over there. That's what we're saying. So, do- but but didn't you write the book like uh, the Art of Mackin, the Asian version, the Chinese version? The brother just following your instructions. I never wrote like, a Chinese version. I never wrote a Chinese version of no damn Art of Mackin. <laughs> what are you talking about? Apparently, apparently he got a hold of one, so he just kind of he, living up to what you. No, no that's the art of tricking. Try. That's the art of tricking. They over there, they got to pay for little brides and all of that. Give them shekels and um, little trinkets in order to get a bride. I ain't never said go over there and wife nobody up on no payment plan. I ain't wrote nothing like oh. that, brother. So you you got a um you got a whole ass Chinese tattoo on your arm, correct? Um, the yin and the yang, yeah. So uh, and, and that and that has to do with what up. does that have to what does that have to do with a Chinese dude going to Africa with a trick tag? Exactly, I'm trying to figure out what you have to do with it. You just kind of what kind of yourself. You're not Chinese or African, so like, why is you hating? Like, it's kind of game goofy a little bit. Who's hating? It? Who? It was an observation. Why are you projecting though? I didn't even remember that I, I tweet a whole bunch of newsworthy articles. I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it until you brought it up. So why is that touching you so much? Because you over there in China tricking off too? So that traveling and tricking, uh, that kind of touched a nerve with you, didn't it? Oh, you got out of here. Oh, he got out. I didn't take him out of here. Yeah, he because he's over there in Asia paying his little trick tab. That's why you so mad. Nigga, you the one triggered. You over there um, getting you some of that um, Connie Chung payment plan. That's you. Over there, because you were too game goofy to get somebody over here. You had to go somewhere with with your little money in your pocket, being a 90-day fiancé financier. That's why you mad, brother. Yeah? You over there spending your yen to get in. Yeah, I posted that. Uh, traveling to different countries to get on some mail order bride shit is goofy. That's goofy as hell. I ain't never said do nothing like that. Step your mouthpiece up. And and my point is, over in Africa, uh, we it's all about the akata and all of that stuff, but. Y'all let the goofiest zaddy or Asian guy go over there and bam, you throw your daughters at him. Which we ain't really checking for nobody over there anyway, to be honest. We ain't checking for nothing. But just the fact that they sit around with all the vitriol towards us and we ain't even we ain't even trying to step at you like that. People always trying to shame us into going over there having the pride that they don't have for themselves. The minute a, a, a white or Asian zaddy show up, you're throwing your daughters and your kids at them. And, it, and then y'all want to shame us into going over there? No. Nah. No. Nah. That's what I'm saying. It's just a mess going on over there. It is a mess. And I say that with concern. I don't say that out of hate or nothing. It's some. The, the the family got to get it together over there, man. You know, y'all stop trying to sell us the Wakanda package because we see what's happening. We don't want to go over there to see y'all zaddy worship. Nah, y'all ain't really trying to do business with us unless we come over there and bring you a big bag. Nah. Ani, let's get in. This Hop in. Mr. Ani something. Ani? Ani somebody. All right. All right, Ani. Bye, brother. What's, What's going, going on? on? <laughs> hey, Dr. Butch, I was laughing last night at your video on Taharka Bay, man. Oh, yeah. Was so- <laughs> I see he yeah. took a- all those videos down. 
Mm-hmm. Most of those videos, he took them things down. He still got one up, though. He better get the rest of them up because like, <laughs> our lawyers are doing the bird man hand rub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job on the turtle, man. But I also wanted to ask if you saw the Affion, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Affion Crockett video uh, or his movie coming out on hip hop. It's strange because I figured out he was an immigrant. And he's making parodies of all of the the foundational Black American uh, hip hop uh, people, and right. I thought that was kind of strange. I don't know. I just wanted to hear your your thoughts on that. Yeah, you know, I saw the trailer, and it it, it was confusing to me. I didn't really get where they're going with the movie. I, I just really couldn't figure it out, to be honest. And I think Afion is funny. He he does very good impressions. But watching the trailer, I was just kind of lost. I can't explain what the movie is. I know he's doing a bunch of impressions. He did an impression of um, Russell Simmons and some other people, but I just don't know what the plot of the movie is. I couldn't even tell you what the plot is. So it's I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. If I can't make out what the trailer is, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to sit through the, the movie. Um, who's this guy with the Chinese letters? The guy here, 7456? Um, yeah. Turn your microphone on, 7456. Turn your microphone on. Yo, what's going on, fam? There you go, man. How are you, sir? I'm all right, man. I'm just out here traveling and shit. Now, what country are you in now? I'm currently in mainland China. Okay. You sound like you have an English accent. Are you from Britain originally? Yeah, I'm born and raised in Britain. Got quite a mixed background. Mom's half Chinese. Baby's what's Chinese. Your, what's your dad? My father's Pakistani, Afghani, and Arab. So oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so so you're, not, you're not, a, you wouldn't be considered a hapa because that would be Asian and white. So what do they consider you? What Do they have a, a terminology for a Middle Eastern and Asian mix? Not really, you know. They're fairly, uh, fairly tolerant of, uh, of all backgrounds around here, so it's kind of cool. Anytime I come out here, I do tend to see some people who look like me because they got like 56 different nationalities here. Yeah. Um, so it depends on which part of the country you're from. But obviously, when they start hearing me speak uh, in Mandarin, it's like, cool. But once they start hearing me speak in English, they're like, yo, this dude's from like England or something. Right. Um, are you in Beijing or are you in the mainland? Uh, well, Beijing is in the mainland as well. Uh, right, 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 right. But um, what what do they call it? Um, the other part. Man, I always hear that shit from Americans, yo. Like, yo, what's what's the well, which country is uh European? <laughs> you know, r- random miscellaneous shit like that. Yeah, because with with China, I know the part of it was controlled by Britain, and the other part wasn't for a long time. So, and usually that part that was controlled by Britain is usually the most pop in place. So. Um, I've been wanting to get out there and kick it. But what's on your mind, man? What, what's on your mind? Uh, I just randomly came to the space, but I heard you speaking about a trailer. So what movies that you were talking about? Um, yeah, it was a hip hop movie that um, one of the callers were talking about. But anyway, let me let me get some other people on here. Uh, thank you so much. I don't want to have to keep you up to speed to what's going on with the conversation. Let's get dialectical. This man's name is dialectical something. All right, dialectical hop on. All right, dialectical. And Wolf, John Wolf, I don't know why you keep requesting to get on. I I keep putting you on and you ain't saying nothing. So delectable or delectable, whatever your name is. And John Wolf, John, you got your microphone together? Yes, it is. It's working fine now. Um, I'll wait for dialectical then. Uh, oh, yeah, he's not saying anything. So go here. What? What's wait? Is dialect saying something? All right, dialectical. So dialectical. He's not saying anything. I think he dropped his meth pipe on the phone. All right, so he's not <laughs> saying. All right, so Wolf, what's on your mind, man? Oh, did you see the Fanny Willis? Uh, she was saying that she would not emasculate a black man. Right. I saw that. I talked about that. Yes. That was kind of on my mind. I was like, uh, respect. Yeah, I mean, she said it, but eh, 
if she's trying to um I think she's trying to get a brownie points with with us but i don't know i don't know she's out there by herself in your community they're kind of running her through the ringer right now well they're they're doing it to try and uh you know run defense for trump right like that right. that's all they're doing right now like of they're, course. they're they're going after her uh, yes yeah they're trying to disqualify her so they can throw that whole trump thing out so, but she's, she's out there on her own. So you can't black it up at the last minute, you, go, you know, you can't do that, but Hey, it is what it is. All right. And Anna, Miss Anna, you want to hop on? I wish these folks have their microphones ready. Okay. I have my microphone ready. There it is. There it is. Hi. Hey, how are you, Miss Anna? Hi, Tariq. I have a question for you that's purely self-interested. Oh, really? What is that? Mm -hmm. um, I have a podcast that I host with another Russian girl. Would you ever come on it? I'm a stupid little wigger. Well, what does wigger mean? Like, I'm from New Jersey and Russian, and I like hip-hop. And how does what does hip-hop have to do with you being a wigger? Nothing. I'm just asking you to come on my podcast. But you brought a you brought up a random tidbit about yourself, and I'm just trying to understand. random racist term, and your questioning is correct. But right. would you ever come on the podcast? Can you, if you look it up? But but I, I'm trying to understand why you specify that you're a wigger. Because I'm a fan of black culture. Okay. In What's, America, what, what, what are you a fan of? I mean, I relate to it as a Russian person. Right. Well, Russian culture is black culture because the person who created your language it was Pushkin, and he was black. So, it's so tr that's true. That's true. Yes. Right. So, so does did that make you a wigger in Russia? Well, I never lived in Russia. For, oh, because okay. I was like an immigrant. I mean, I lived there for five years, but I don't have a memory of it. Oh, okay. I'm so uh, drunk right now, but I'm just asking if you would ever consider coming on the podcast. I, 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 you got to sell it to me. See, I don't know. I don't know you, ma'am. I'm trying to get to know who you are. Now, all I know from right now, you're Russian and you said that you're a wigger. And you like, <laughs> and you like, and you like black. I don't know anything about you, ma'am. I'm trying to understand who you are. And, you know, it's a possibility. Okay. I'm open. I'm open to go on different platforms. Well, well, we reviewed your buck breaking documentary and we really loved it. And what you right, were all about. About. Your, about your community. Right. Right. Your community is. And the, the long history of sexual exploitation of your yes, community. exactly right. So, so are you currently wiggering now? Do you have a black male that you're you're having relations with, ma'am? <gasps> I can't answer that. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll lose credibility within the the white supremacist ranks. Well, no, 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 no. It's not about that. I just don't speak upon my personal life. Well, you just said you're a wigger. That's pretty personal, All right? Hmm. Okay, wait. What's the road you're leading down upon? No, I'm just asking questions. I'm I'm, I'm listening to you, ma'am. Well, listening. okay. If I'm being honest with you right now, if I can be fully transparent, uh huh. A lot of white people on the internet think I'm a racist why against they, black people. But why do they I'm think that? Why do they think that? Well, I don't know. Well, they are they they get it from somewhere. You you must have done something. Well, no, I haven't done. I haven't said anything against black people. I think that they're leftists and they feel guilty because they're secretly racist themselves. Oh, and they they project their racism on yes, you. Yes, exactly. Interesting. Interesting. So, how do you feel about black people? Other than you, you said you like our culture, but if you if people perceive you as being a racist, well, I'm so I'm a Russian immigrant to America, so I find African American culture to be like inspirational and relatable, because in Russia we have a lot of the same problems and adversities. Mm, okay, like what kind of adversities do you have back home? Well, like, do you really want to get into this? Yeah, yeah, we're talking. We're talking. And do you speak Russian? Did your family teach you any Russian? Right. And I know the white supremacist movement is pretty heavy up there in Russia, too. Is your family connected to any of that? No, not at all. Because my dad's an Armenian, so he's like an ethnic minority. 
Right. But still white. Well, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't deny your whiteness. I'm not. Right. So what are your views on black people, ma'am? What what do you think about black people? I think it's hard to categorize black people as a single block. Right. Right. Um, let me ask you this, because right now it's an election season mm-hmm. and a lot of foundational black Americans like myself and others. What does are... foundational black American mean? Like ancestors of slaves. Right. Right. We're okay. the, not, yeah, not only the ancestors, descendants of slaves. Descendants. But... Sorry, descendants. I'm so drunk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the foundation of the United States where the people mm-hmm. who actually the non-immigrants like were... built who built the country. Yes. Right. Right. So that's the foundation of Black American non-immigrant groups. How do you feel about us getting reparations from the United States government? That's a good question. I have to think about that. Really? Why do you can, that? Well, okay. because I can imagine a lot of scenarios where that could be maneuvered to benefit people who don't deserve it. Well, then... Any situation can be maneuvered so that people don't deserve well, it. Well, how do you? Well, how do you feel about reparations? Um, I feel that we should get checks immediately. Well, but how would? But okay, here's the question for you: How would that work realistically? Like, how would you determine who was black enough to receive the reparations? Lineage based. Okay. Like I, that's why I said foundational Black American, the people who can trace their lineages to the slave fields of the United States to the 1870 census forms. That's the okay. easiest. So it's already figured out. Right? Um, yeah, you're making a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, again, why do people think that you are a white supremacist? I mean, I'm really not. But why do they assume you are? Um, that's a good question. I think Probably because they're like sheltered and coddled and they think that the things I say are racist. Like what? Like what? Well, hmm. Like for instance, recently I made a tweet about like quote tweeting someone about how like maybe one of the African migrants coming to the United States could be the next Bach. And a lot of people on the left interpreted it as sarcasm where I like really didn't mean it that way. Mm. How did you mean it? Well, it's an open-ended question. Maybe there's like in most people in any population are kind of just ordinary and whatever, but in any population, anybody can be an outlier, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so that was kind of like a trick question to provoke leftists into airing their own racism. Oh, so you were just being manipulative. Yes. Oh. As a female should be. <clears throat> okay. So have you been back to Russia to help your family out there in Russia? Um, what do you mean help my family out in Russia? No, right, your family. You're Russian. You can, you have family there. I notice a lot of people, a lot of you guys come from Europe and you kind of leave your families out there. You don't really... um. Well, do I didn't leave them. my family. My dad moved here for economic opportunities. I understand that. I understand that. But you have... you guys. I was merely a child. Right. But you still have family in Russia. You just... Yes, cut but they're off. financially better off than me. But you clearly don't have any correspondence with them. Why is that? What do you mean I don't have any correspondence to them? I talk to my cousin regularly. Well, but the way you're acting, like you don't really talk to him. You seem confused when I asked about you corresponding with your family in Russia. It seems like a lot of people, y'all come from Europe and then forget about <laughs> the starving family members back home. Well, we don't have starving family members back home. They're like, I'm in regular contact with them. They get $5 lattes just like me. Well, the thing is, uh, they can't be doing that much better because your family had to flee for economic opportunities, was which is that's what you said. So, well, yeah. Tariq, wow. hold on. That was at the time when the Soviet Union had just fallen and the Berlin Wall fell. I'm so drunk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And people didn't know it was what, but there was a, a moment of privatization where a lot of people made a lot of money and got off pretty well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, they fled though. Yeah, they had to flee and come on over here. Well, and, some people did. Yeah, they they had to flee, and it's you know. You seem very suspicious of me. No, I don't, ma- ma'am. I just <laughs> suspect that I, I just suspect that you can you could be a white supremacist, but that's nothing new. I don't, I'm not, literally not. I mean, you could be, you know. So I'm. You're not saying anything that's out of the I ordinary. I could be. You're right. You're right. You're right. I could be. Well, yeah, I mean, when somebody calls up and says, hey, I'm a wigger, yeah, I'm I'm pretty suspecting that they could be a white supremacist when they say that. Which that I'm was not- the, You're right. That was the wrong opener. No, no, it was an honest opener. You let me know who you mm-hmm. were right away. So I'm already knowing, which is I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right. Okay, go on. There you go. I'm... Okay, but hold on. You're you're having this conversation way too. We're we're going on this tangent way too long. I'm sure other people want to speak. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this: If I emailed you, would you consider coming on the podcast? I have to know more about your podcast because I'm assuming it's going to be one of these alt right, low key, covert white supremacist spaces. It Wait. is okay. So I, I'm, I'll be I'm fully so- okay. Hold on. I'll be fully transparent with you. We unfairly got billed as a leftist podcast early on, and now are unfairly billed as an alt right podcast. But we're really not about that. You can listen to our episodes with our guests. We are very open minded and charitable toward them, and we don't try to ambush or attack anyone. But ma'am, th- this is the thing with with a lot of you suspected white supremacists. Many of you think that I'm not a sup- I'm not a suspected. suspected white supremacist. I'm a stupid bitch on Twitter who likes your what you're about. Right. And, and I don't know if you are or not. It's, I can only suspect that you could be. I'm not saying that you are. But the thing is, many of you are not as clever as you think you are. Because you can I don't think I'm that clever. I'm we, totally we can kind of. Uh, I mean, the first two minutes, I can tell, okay, this is some 4chan alt right stuff. No, in, no, no. In, no. In, I have, no, hold on, dude. I have nothing to do with 4chan. I, I've never heard of that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> The same vein, uh, I, I, ma'am, it's already there. I can smell it a mile away. You're being so suspicious and speculative. I'm not be, uh, ma'am, I can literally smell the alt right a mile away. I can smell it through I'm the I'm not alt right at all. I, I can smell the alt right leanings. <laughs> uh, I can smell it there, ma'am. And uh, how are you in your 30s, right? How did you know? Because a lot of you suspected white supremacist women, you start getting on that kick around 31, 32. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, y'all start getting on that thing around 30, 32, because that's when y'all kind of hit the wall and them looks start. No, no, I hit the wall when I was 16. Don't worry about oh, that. Oh, okay, the wall was hit. Okay. A lot yeah, of y'all yeah, yeah. The wall, the wall in Soviet Russia, the wall hits you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, there's some cute Russian white women. No, no, no. I'll give credit where credit is due. I've seen some, but I've seen some of y'all looking like, you know, um, baby pit bulls. But um, a we, lot of we look like cottage cheese stuffed stuffed in stockings. But yeah, you're you're at that age where you're about to you've you kind of hit the wall, and now you need some white supremacy to depend on. So then you become a foot soldier for white supremacy. So I, I can I can see it a mile away. But let me know. Let me know about your podcast. Let me see what you guys are about. Um, where, what platform are you on? Patreon. Patreon. That, that, okay. So yeah, that that's more alt right stuff because a lot of times y'all. Can't uh, if other... Patreon is not Gumroad. It's like the normal yeah, mainstream. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot, a lot of you can't get on other platforms, so you guys go through Gab or one of these other things, whatever. Okay. I've never heard of Gab. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we'll chop it up. All right, you have a good one, dear. Thank you, Tariq. Have a good Yeah, y'all, and and, and I had her on just to let y'all see. These are the kind of people y'all work with, all right, who try to be slick and clever. They think that they're slick. She exposed herself once she, the minute she got on, she exposed herself as a suspected white supremacist and then tried to, to... play the role and try to be slick and uh, you're not fooling anybody. 
So I'm just showing black folks not to fall for that because a lot of your coworkers are like that, that very passive aggressive type of suspected white supremacists. Okay, um, Paxton, are you ready to get on, sir? Mr. Paxton. Can you hear me now, Tariq? I can hear you, Mr. Paxton. How are you? Good. How are you yourself? I'm phenomenal, ma'am. Now, Paxton, where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to Atlanta, man. What's on your mind, Paxton? Yeah, I just want to say I'm a huge fan, and uh, I think you're totally correct with the uh, buck-breaking analysis, uh, as the previous speaker said. And uh, I wanted to ask you, have you ever uh, seen a television show called Black Mirror? I think I have, yeah. On um, net, Is it on Netflix? <laughs> Netflix, yes, that's correct. Yeah, I saw a couple of episodes. Have you ever, are you aware of an episode called Striking Vipers? Now, what's that one about? Okay, it is about these uh, two gentlemen of color who uh, play a virtual reality video game that allows oh, yeah. them to have sex with each other. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that, yeah, that was bugged out. Yeah. You yeah. thought it was bugged out? Why do you yeah. say that? Yeah, it was a very interesting dynamic that they would have those two guys um, playing virtual characters, but in a sexual relationship with each other. It was real weird. Yes. And uh, does that uh, do you incorporate that into your overall thesis? What, what overall thesis? What do you mean? Uh, the uh, buck breaking thesis. Well, the thesis is your community. The buck breaking is about your community. Sir. What, what, what community do I represent? The suspected white supremacist community. What, why do you, uh, uh, I mean, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, there's a lot of suspected white supremacists in Atlanta, Georgia. What if I told you I was black? Um, well, you would be a suspected coon. And how so? If I'm woke, if I say I'm an admirer of yours as one of the brotherhood, right. and I say that you are completely correct about the buck-breaking thesis, why would that make me a coon? as opposed but, to someone who's woke to this sentiment. But the thing, even the terms you use, only the way you use woke, we don't use woke in that manner. So either you are a white person, a coon, or a tether. W but, would you be willing to proffer an, uh, a hypothetical example of the diction and the syntax that uh, you insinuate me as being one of the Caucasian supremacist variety? Suspected. Not suspected. Su okay. Suspected. Insinuated. Right. So just I suspect speculative. I, I suspect that you could be. Um, hmm. But buck breaking is something from your community. You understand? Yes. Uh, and uh, to go over to clarify, I, I don't know how many people who are listening to you right now. I, I suspect most of them are probably aware of the buck breaking hypothesis, but this is something that comes from the plantation in which. Uh, uh, the plantation owner would ritualistically sodomize the most masculine of the black slaves in order to uh, emasculate the rest of them, correct? It, 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 no, it's deeper than that. That was just a very small facet of Th that's it. That's the origin. No, that's not the origin. Have you, have you actually seen Buck Breaking? Have you seen the movie? Because now you're coming across disingenuously. Disingenuously? Yeah. Oh. Okay, then uh, correct me. Have, have you seen the movie? Parts. Okay, so... I've seen the art. Okay, so basically you've, you, you've seen some stuff on some of the, the white supremacist sites and some of the, the memes because it's very popular among some of the white supremacist websites. They try to kind of troll their way out of the pain. So you haven't mm -hmm. really seen the whole film. Um, the movie... When we talk about the plantation buck breaking, that was only a small sector of it. Your community, they've been buck breaking ever since they came out of Europe. It goes way back, going back to the Greco-Roman societies of your culture. That's a thing. Um, going back to Alexander, the so-called great, who was buck breaking people that they conquered when they traveled around the world. So you you have a culture of doing that for a long time. So the plantation, the the missionaries going into Africa, buck breaking. The Catholic Church, buck breaking. They're still buck breaking now with all of these scandals of them um, sodomizing people. So that's a culture. 
that's been going well, on a long time in your community, sir. You're right. So you've mentioned you you brought up Alexander the Great, and right. uh, what if I told you that at the time of Alexander the Great, it's actually not true that they were committing what we would technically officially know as sodomy, because what they were really doing was fucking the thighs of the other men. Okay, now that's some new stuff in your community. Okay, I don't know what you're into, sir. Well, no, I, we were talking about the way but, in which but, accurately but that, uh, Greek sodomy existed at the time. Sir, that doesn't make it better, sir. That doesn't mm. make it better. You're right. It's even more gay. That, that, that's even, yeah, if you're doing that, sir, see, that's why we, we have to be weary of you suspected white supremacists. Y'all try to mm. just weird stuff, sir. Mm. So, so, are you, so are you into that type of stuff, sir? Because, you, you, you know. The thighs, no. Okay. Oh, so you're just straight bussy. It's just for you. No thighs uh, for you. Going, well, you go as, for the, long go as the, the gust, as long as the thong the gust, is though. taken out of it, player. Say, so you, 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 so you just go for the gusto, right? The <laughs> the great gusto, more like the gonzo. Yeah, yeah, you go for it. Yeah, hey man, not whatever floats your your boat, dude. Whatever knocks your, yeah. your you know, and more whatever, power. Whatever you know, gets uh, the what, whatever's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know. Uh, Okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to get his white supremacist buck breaking fantasies out of here, Lord. Man. He's about to take it to a filthy place. All right, okay, let me see who else we got. Let's get Trevor, let's get Mr. Trevor in here. Trevor, hop on, bro, because your, your community is calling up talking crazy. Oh, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good, Trevor. How's on? Uh, what's on your mind? Uh, not much. I wanted to ask you about the the buck breaking thing. Yeah, is, is it white people doing making you guys gay, or is it the Jays? Uh oh, oh, what's the difference? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I didn't really have much to say, but yeah, you they kind of teetered out real quick, didn't it? Yeah. Well, thanks I... for having me, brother man. All Respect right. Man. You. Hey, you know, that meth pipe ain't gonna smoke itself. All right. <laughs> Can you follow me back, please? <laughs> no, I can't. No, thank you, sir. I don't follow people who are suspected on meth. All right. Um, let's get Party Goy. Party Goy in here. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. That is a big part of uh, what white guys like. And I definitely, um, I sent you a follow um, dialectical. Um, so a lot of these guys, especially in college, they do a lot of experimentation. Like you get them right in college and, you know, you get a couple drinks in them and they, that, that ancient. Group okay. Yeah. He, you sound weird yourself, sir. I had to get you out of here because you sound like you're laying on your stomach. So your energy was off too. Uh, Milo, let's hop on, man. Wait, hey, I was not expecting this. Um, I just wanted to see why you had maybe contempt for Anna Katchen. Why would I have contempt for her? I was very cordial to her. What are you saying, sir? I don't know. I just felt like it was very, like you called it passive aggressiveness, but I felt like she was being honest in her way of like talking with you. I was ex extremely polite to her. What did I say that was even remotely hostile or aggressive? You said that, like, these are the people you work with, and, like, these are the people that are white supremacist foot soldiers, and I just didn't agree. I just thought that was completely wrong. Oh, no. If you call up and say you're a wigger, my antennas go up. Yeah, completely wrong on that, her aspect, on that part. But, right. Like, I felt like she was just... She was just what? Being herself in that aspect All right. and herself could be a suspected white supremacist so i'm right in making that assessment right i mean i guess right right sir i know you're laying on your pillow let's roll back over off your stomach where are you from sir by the way where you oh i'm from texas where, texas, are, you from? where are you originally from because i hear an accent where are you from originally uh america no I what hear an accent. Are you Hispanic or Middle Eastern? Uh, Hispanic. There you go. Uh, when did your family come over from Mexico? Uh, like, I'm second gen. Second gen. Okay, so you've been out there for a minute. 
And it's very interesting that you are second generation Mexican and you're up here following these suspected white supremacists. See, this is another learning experience for black people in here. That's that black and brown coalition, black folks. All right. You see who he's following. Are I mean, on- it's yeah. just like art hoes from New York. I didn't really like, they're not like, they're not galvanizing youths to like go out and like terrorize people or anything. You lost me. What are you talking about? Like they're just like art hosts from New York. Like have art hosts of the Red Scare Pod. Wait, 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 who are you talking about? What? Who? Oh, like the girl. Anna Ketchen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put it in context. Are you just saying stuff? This uh, little Milo nigga is simping hardcore. He thinks he's gonna get a piece of that. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Okay. Hey, techno, hold on, sir. <clears throat> I get you in a minute, techno. Just hold your horses. Just so you'll be all right. Techno, calm down. I'm gonna get you in a second, man. Turn some heat on in that trailer. Because I know that that cold air from the openings it gets to you, but um, so Milo, um, yeah, these women you're following these suspected white supremacists. Um, when did you start identifying with white supremacy? I'm not a white supremacist. I not don't so, identify at all with not them. You are, but yeah, but you're following some suspected white supremacists, so it's very interesting. Um, let me ask you this, Milo. Um, have you listened to me before, or is this your first time? Uh, this is my first time. Okay. I have no familiarity. Okay, well, I'm a big person on reparations for foundational Black Americans. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, great. How do you feel about reparations for foundational Black Americans? Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, great. What? I think that's a great thing that like Black Americans should get reparations. Yes, yeah, we need your support. We need your support. Well, we need you to galvanize some of the. Um, suspected white supremacists and kind of convert them to get their support too, right? Okay. There you go. All right, Milo, let me get this other guy on. All right, thank you so much. Okay. All right, Techno, what's up, man? You had something to say, Techno. What's up, bro? I'm doing great, Tariq. It's great to talk to you. I was curious, what is your favorite type of hamburger? What do you like on a, on a cheeseburger? I like turkey burgers. I don't eat beef. I like turkey burgers. Now, what are you in there? Are you in there cooking somebody right now? You sound like you got somebody in your basement. And you I'm, a, I'm you just are? grilling. I'm just grilling, right? I just like to grill. I like to I like to fry some hamburger meat on the grill. Okay. All right. Uh, is anybody in this man's basement? If this, if you're kidnapped by this guy, he sounds like he's in there cooking niggas. So if he got y'all on a grill or y'all making some noise or something so we can get y'all to safety. Uh, that sounds real weird. All right. That sounds real weird. What kind of burger you like? All right. Yeah, y'all be careful out here, guys. Please be careful. All right, let's get Cyber King in the building. Where's those clippers, the toenail clippers there? You put them back? Okay. A Cyber King, what's up? What's up, nigga? Oh, okay. What's going on with you, sir? Nothing. I just, just drinking some ginger ale. It tastes really good. Uh, nigga, what are you doing, bro? Like, what is this? Like, come on, bro. What's bothering you, sir? What's what's going on with you? I mean, like, you're making a mug of like black people. Like, as a black man, like, you suck, nigga. As a black man. Okay, tell me more about your blackness as a black man. Tell me about my blackness, nigga. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about your blackness. Now, where, where are you from? It, tell me how, let me, because you're, you're black as a black man. And you're authentically black. Where, where's your family? New York. There you go. Um, by way of where? Long Island. By way of where you're, you're messing up your black credentials already. The, uh, nigga. The, the, hold on, no, no, slow down. Now, when somebody when somebody asks you that, you you, you got to have a better answer to, to sell the bullshit. You're not. Where selling are you, it. the nigga police? Yeah, you're not selling it correctly. Okay. I gotta sell you my blackness, nigga. Because we can clearly tell you're a musty white supremacist. We can clearly. Oh tell. shit, bro! I'm white. Hell yeah! So you, I got more. So rights. You, I got more so rights than you. So you've been sitting here practicing your black scent and it ain't working. You've been sitting here trying to practice your black scent. First of all, 
just the egregious way of just saying nigga randomly, that's a dead giveaway too. Nah, you're kind of retarded. I'm not no, no. Lie, not, there, there he is. There he is. Okay, you fucking retarded, dude. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Come on out. Come on, Dylan. Be Dylan and be white. Yes, right. I can't wait to get a 750 Dylan, credit score. Dylan. Yes. There you go, Dylan. I don't tell the truth. Stop, stop faking the fun. I, I have three million dollars in my bank. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have. You have three billion headlights in your scalp. Stop it. Um, but be, be, be be who you are, Dylan. Be who you are. You're the eye of the tiger. Be who you are, Tariq. Be who you are. All right, Dylan. All right. You know, your, your failed attempt at blackness, it, it, it unraveled real quickly. All right. <laughs> like, we can't tell. All right. Well, to the white supremacists, when you try to do your, your black sense, we don't just hop on, hey, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. We, no, that, that's a dead giveaway. So work on that. Just work on that a little bit. Um, Hunkle. Oh, let me get Hunkle in here. All right. Let's get Hunkle in here. And then Imperator. <clears throat> Hunkle and Imperator. All right, hop on, man. I don't know what that means. You don't know what what means? Imperator. But well, that's another person, sir. So, Uncle, where are you from? Um, I'm from Austin. Okay, now, Mr. Uncle, why is your phone so janky, sir? Your phone is very janky. Yeah, cause that's because I live in the hood, and this is all I can afford. You mean you live under the hood of the trailer that you have to change the car batteries in, sir? You don't live in a black hood. You live in a trailer hood, and it's obvious with your phone being as janky as it is, sir. Actually, I live in a Mexican hood, but that's um, no, I, I don't believe that either, sir. So, Uncle, anything on your mind besides you getting a, a upgrade from your iPhone five? Um, yeah, what's I, I heard you mention something called buck breaking. I, I'm like new here. Can you like break that down for me? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Well, you heard some of your, your your fellow white supremacists call up and ask about that. Well, just go look in the mirror and turn over, and that'll tell you all about the bug breaking you need to know. Imperator, hop on. Let's get Imperator in here. Imperator, and we got over a thousand people in here. We are in here heavy, and let me. We got a lot of white supremacists coming in. I welcome the white supremacists. All right. Let's get um Anna. What's your name? Anna Potter. Anna Potter, hop on. I just wanted to say hi to Anna. Hi Anna, I love you. There you go. All right, shout out to you and Anna. All shout right. out to Anna. Shout All out right. to Doc. All right, let's get um. So somebody who has some watermelon on their thing. I want to see what's going on with them. And shout out to everybody in the room. We got over a thousand people in here this lovely evening. And don't forget to go to rootworkstyle.com to get that rootwork deodorant. All right. Let's get shawty in here. All right. And when you see that, I see the green frog in there. So we got some four channelites in here. Shawty. Hello. Um, what's up? What's up, what's up shawty? Hi, Tariq. I saw uh, the I green like... frog. I saw the green frog. Now, before now, hold, <laughs> hold on. Now, before you get to your troll material, think about it and make it witty, because a lot of you suspected white supremacists are not I'm... good on wit. You're I'm not, not good witty. on wit. I just want but your genuine opinion on something. Try, try to be witty with your stuff, okay? <laughs> well, that's what makes you guys have to depend on white supremacy. You got the wit of a shoe. So give me something witty. What's on your mind? Let's hear this. No, I'm not giving you something witty. I would just like to know your genuine opinion on the wigger, wiggers. What do you think? What's a wigger? You haven't described what a wigger is, ma'am. I think you know what a wigger is. I don't think I need to describe No idea, that. ma'am. That's something that, <laughs> I, don't know. I have no idea what a wigger is. What's that? Dude, you know. Come on. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. <laughs> 
leotard in them. Uh, I must be because I have no yeah. idea what, what you have to define. If you say something, man, why can't you define something that you brought up? Define what you're saying, man. This isn't even funny. You know what? I'm going to leave, actually. Goodbye. But, okay, ma'am. If you can't define what you said, this is what I'm saying, ma'am. That wit is falling flat, ma'am. You're very unwitty and uninteresting, unfortunately. And that's why you have to depend on white supremacy. From the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Root Work, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror Root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice. 